A couple of weeks ago, I published a tutorial on the WordPress GDPR tools that came out with WordPress 4.9.6, and those basically allowed you to view, send, export, and erase personal data of users on your site. And the promise at the time, this was maybe, uh, it was released on the 18th, so seven days before GDPR came into effect, and the promise at the time was other plugins would tie in to that export functionality, but they didn't at the time. And now they're starting to. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how WooCommerce ties in and how Pay Memberships Pro ties in. I'm sure there's some others that I don't know about, but these are the two I'm going to show you. And the other ones should work in very similar fashions to tie into the user export. And I'm going to show you how to do that and what results are produced. We're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you're new here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at it and serving your clients better, make sure to hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is our private Facebook group. Check that out. There's a link in the description down below. We're there talking WordPress, helping each other, getting better at it, and make sure you join. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. As I just mentioned, the two plugins that are now tying into the WordPress user data export functionality are WooCommerce and Paid Memberships Pro. There are probably some others as well that I don't know about, but I'm not on every mailing list in the world, so I don't know exactly what they are. But hopefully, if you're using the plugins, they do tie in now, or they will in the near future. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're exporting some basic WooCommerce data and some basics, basic uh, Paid Membership Pro data. So all we have to do is go down to, well, first we get a request from someone saying they want to know what data you have. Then we go down to tools and then export personal data. And here we have a demo request from the video I made on May 17th. And if you want to check out that original video about the GDPR and the 4.9.6 update in WordPress and all the functionality it added, click on the card above to see that tutorial. But right now we're going to enter an email address of a demo user georgegeorge.com that I've created some demo data inside of the membership plugin and inside of WooCommerce for. So we're going to see what kind of data is pulled up for this guy. So let's click on send request. Now this is going to send an email to george at george.com, which is a fake email address. And we're going to wait for confirmation because we have to confirm the person's identity. You can't have anybody's roll up and say, here's my email, just go ahead and send me the data. We have to confirm that actually is their email address. Otherwise, it could be impersonating somebody else. So we're not ever going to have that confirmed because it's a fake email address. I'm just going to click on download personal data and it generates a zip file that I'm just going to unzip and then view it to see what kind of data we have. So here we have George's information. This is all the information that is contained within the WordPress database for George. This does not include information uh, contained in external sources, like for example, well, we'll get to examples in a little bit. But this is data we have. And in the original video, when this functionality first came out, we saw about and user and comments. If the person left comments on a blog post, they'd be included here. But the other data was not there yet. The other plugins had not yet tied into this functionality. Now some of them are starting to. Orders is from WooCommerce. So this information we have here, this is just a demo order I created a few moments ago for George, uh, $5, and here's the order number, and this is his billing address that we have listed here. So if there was more data and had more orders or ordered other things, those would be listed here as well. Under Pay Memberships Pro, I actually gave him a membership, which is not showing up in here because it doesn't show membership level in this list. And I didn't fill out anything else. I just, I just uh, added them as a manually added member to a membership level. So if this information was here, if they were actually a paying customer as a membership person, it would show their credit card number, probably the last four digits of the number, expiration, year, month, how many visits, how many times they've logged in, their billing address and information. And I read up a little bit on the Pay Memberships Pro erasing erasure methods. And what they do is they don't erase everything. They, they basically anonymize the user, so they'll erase their name, the last four, their entire credit card number, which in this case we only have four digits usually, and the number of visits to the site I think stays. They're basically taking out all the identifying information so that you can keep the other data for your records. Because what if George was a member for 12 months, and say you want to calculate the lifetime customer value, on average for your membership site. If you keep deleting all this data with the GDPR, 
you can't calculate that because you're deleting that information from the site. So the Membership Pro plugin will delete the identifying information, but keep a lot of the data that's anonymous, that's used for you for your business needs and, and calculating important metrics and KPIs for your membership site. And then where this gets a little more complicated, of course, is this data that's on your site is not all the data you have on them because chances are if they're a member, they're a paying member, they paid you somehow, maybe through a credit card, maybe through PayPal, but either way, there's somebody on the internet processed that payment for you, some company, and that company also has George's data. So when George is requesting all the data they have on you, or that, that we have on him in this case, we need to send them this output that we have here from WordPress, but we also have to send them the data from, say, Stripe, or PayPal, or Authorize.net, or Count Beans, or whatever parent processor you use, they have data too. So it has to be exported and sent to him as well. But that's not the point of this tutorial. This tutorial is just to show you these new ones, these new plugins that are now tying into the, the core output for the user data. And WooCommerce, I think, has been there for a few days now, or maybe even a couple weeks. Paid Memberships Pro was added today, June 1st, and that's seven days past the actual GDPR start date, which was May 25th. So they're a little behind the eight ball, and most plugins are, to be honest. Most systems are. Um, even though there's two years lead time to get this set up, a lot of companies were caught behind the eight ball in actually rolling out this the, these methods and this functionality to help us actually comply with the law. Um, luckily, I have not yet heard of anybody being fined or sued under the GDPR. Uh, maybe there's another grace period. Maybe there's this there's a two-year grace period before it came into effect, which ended on May 25th. Maybe there, now there's another grace period. I'm not sure if there is or not. I just haven't heard of anybody being prosecuted, but I know for a fact that pretty much everybody is not in 100% compliance because these tools that we need to be in compliance aren't yet created. <laughs> so, so we're not 100% compliant, but I haven't heard of anybody being fined, so maybe there's another grace period. I don't know how long it is. I don't even know if that's true. All I'm saying is it might be. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon, get into the private Facebook group, link down below, and then check out one of these videos that popped up on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.